All right, uh, it looks like a chunky question, but it is not that bad. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and dive on in. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. I get excited. The statement reads, a parallel plate capacitor C with a plate separation D is given an initial charge plus or minus Q0. It is connected to a resistor R and discharges at a rate QT is equal to Q0 E to the negative T over RC. Uh, you might see that as a characteristic time tau in other texts. A, what a fraction of its initial energy, Q0 squared over 2C, does it radiate away? B, if C is equal to 1 picofarad and R is equal to 1,000 ohms and D is equal to uh, 1, 0 0.1 millimeters, what is the actual number? If electronics, in electronics, we don't ordinarily worry about the radiative losses, does this seem reasonable in this case? Okay, so... Let's go back to what we know in this section is that the total radiated power, P rad, T, uh, re again, at the retarded time, is equal to mu naught over 6 pi C with the double dot derivative, which means the double time derivative of the uh, electric dipole, and that whole thing is squared. All right, so moving on, our solution is the total energy radiated via the power, uh, which we would just say uh, power is a rate a uh, change of work over time so that's where we get dwr dt subscript r for radiation um let's see if we plug in this form and then solve it for uh the work done or the total energy in this case uh, we see that we're integrating from zero to infinity over all of time mu naught six pi c and then the double derivative of t naught evaluated at t naught squared so here we know that the uh physical dipole is qd uh, capital Q. And so uh, we know that Q is a function of time. So the double derivative of P is just the double derivative of Q. And if that's the case, we get Q naught uh, uh, parentheses negative one over RC squared E to the negative T divided by RCD. Okay, so that's where the time dependency comes in. And here, when we put that all into the bracket, you, know, you see, uh, we get quite a number here to square away. But it's nothing too horrific of an integral. We get mainly uh, constants that come out front. So the Q naught squared D squared over RC to the fourth, that's all just a constant. And then we're just left with the, uh, an exponential integral that's the negative, so that infinity will cancel it nicely. Cool, we like that. Here's our antiderivative. Now we just need to evaluate it, so we see a factor of RC cancels. So uh, we are left with a... Uh, mu naught Q naught squared D squared over 12 pi C, uh, thanks to the 2 and the 6 combining. And then we have RC cubed. Now the infinity, E to the negative infinity goes to 0, no big deal. And then we have a negative, and then E to the negative 0, or E to the 0 is just 1. So we get the double negatives there, and we're good to go. Um, yeah, that just cancels to 1, so easy money. Now, what we want was the fraction of the original energy that is radiated. So if that's the case, we need the uh, energy radiated over the original energy. And we see that uh, we were given that original energy as Q0 squared over 2C. So let's go ahead and try to simplify. We know that if we divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So you see we expand at RC cubed and R cubed C cubed so we could cancel. We see that uh, when we take the reciprocal of that denominator, we have the radiated power or radiated energy times 2C over Q0. So the Q0 clearly cancel. The 2 reduces that 12 to a 6. And that factor of C cancels down that uh, C cubed to a C squared. And so the fraction is U, uh, mu naught D squared over 6 pi C R cubed C squared. Okay, and if we actually plug in everything that we need here for this particular capacitance, given what we have, capacitance was, uh, I believe, one picofarad, so that's to the negative 12. Square that, uh, uh, the resistance was a thousand ohms, so we cubed that. Speed of light is what it is, mu naught is what it is. Uh, and then we have D was 0 0.1 millimeters, so that's uh, 10 to the negative four meters. Square that, and we see that we have the actual number of 2.2 times 10 to the negative six. I do have some more about this, but I'll put that in the description so you can read it, and we don't have to sit here all day. But again, take your time with these. These are not particularly difficult. You just have to make sure you set things up right, which is the hardest part of physics. The math takes care of itself. 
And uh, yeah, let me know what you think.